on a fantastic Monday afternoon. How's everyone doing? It's the Teddy Bear, and welcome to Night Tracks Radio. In today's artist spotlight, singer, songwriter, with a velvet smooth voice from the legendary Ray Goodman and Brown, and also AKA The Moment, the man, the icon, the legendary Mr. Billy Brown is joining us today with his new hit single, You're So Fine, Lord have mercy. So on behalf of Night Tracks, it's my honor to welcome Billy Brown to the show. How are you doing this afternoon, my man? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. How about yourself? Oh man, I can't complain, it's an honor to have you on the show. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule and joining us. And congratulations on the new hit single. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I've, uh, I got back with uh, my producer, Ronnie, Mr. Ronnie Song, and Charles Bow and Don Huggins. And we said, okay, let's do something. Let's make, let's make this thing happen, you know? And, and Right out of the box, we got uh, "You're So Fine." Yes, Lord. <laughs> seems to be uh, seems to be doing pretty well. It yeah. is, my man. It is. You know, yeah. we have a lot of things to talk about, and I wanted to ask you. We're yeah. both twenty-one. We've been around. We've been around <laughs> a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> And I wanted to ask you that you've seen the dramatic changes in the music industry, how we had so many labels. Now we're down to a handful. You've right. seen artists that were on major labels are now independent artists, which I think is a good thing because they have complete creative control over their monetary right. gain, as well right. as the direction of their music. Absolutely. Do you think the heart and soul of r and music has been lost in today's modern day, quote unquote, modern day music industry. And in a lot of ways, I, I, I truly believe just that. Um, you know, it's, I don't, it's the, what has happened is that the, um, your artists today, uh, well, well, when first start, it's starting with the studio. Number one, when you go in the studio, you don't have the uh, the live instruments and things like that in the studio, and very seldom anymore. Um, uh, and that seems to take away the feel of the of the song. And I don't think the dedication the dedication uh, is there because the, today's artists they don't they really don't have to go through the things that we. Uh, that we had to go through in, in this music business. You know, you started working, you worked the chitlin' circuit, so to speak, you know, and, uh, you know, you had to, you know, your, your, uh, things were just, I think were just different, you know, promoters, you know, you, you, uh, you didn't get, you didn't, uh, tell them I, I need half of my money up front, you know, you get there and, and go on and do the show and, and uh, you look for the promoter at the end of the show, and he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, it's somewhat, you know, it's somewhat kind of, it kind of devastated us. But hey, you know, it's a it lesson learned. You know, yeah. Um, yeah and this, uh, I, I don't hear the true. Uh, I don't hear the true R and B. You know what? Well, we forget we're only as good we're only as good as our last record, you know, um, in the in this business, you know, if uh, with the with the with the black audience, you know, right. uh, if you don't have a record, then they, you're you're somewhat forgotten. You're swept under the rug, so to speak, you know. Yeah, unfortunately, you know. Yeah, I I couldn't wait when I was a youngster to go to the record store in the in our local neighborhood and buy an album. It was something special to have a vinyl, to see the yeah. liner notes, to see right. the way the artist dressed, the, right. the, the story behind the music. Right. And that has been stripped away from us where everything has been, hey, we'll put out a single. There's no more album concept. Right. There's no longer artist development anymore. Right. I remember times when 
when you get together as far as the moments or even Ray Goodman and Berman, you guys who hit the stage, you were pristine. You were like a well-oiled machine. Performance yeah. was everything. And I see today that's been stripped away. It has um, been. It's been stripped away. There's nothing left to the imagination when you're speaking about a woman anymore. Everything, right. Yeah, every, <laughs> everything is so sexualized. And I wanted your thoughts and opinions on that as far as do you think there's a way that we can actually get back to the pure essence of R&B music? Well, you're not, I don't, I don't think you're going to, you're going to get back to it because uh, a lot of these, a uh, lot of the, the, the artists and uh, groups and everything, the new ones coming along, they have, uh, they have control. Now, you know, you had, they have control. There's, there is no, there's, there's no boundaries anymore, you know, as far as what you can, what um, you know? What you can release, uh, things that you can say in a in a song now, you know, and the and the radio stations are, are they're they're playing it, you know, a lot yeah. of stations are playing those that type of song, and it's just um, I think it's just gotten I think it's gotten somewhat out of hand, you know, uh, you know, there's uh, we used to do, you know, we did love songs, but we it was. Uh, you left something to the imagination, you know. Right. You didn't get out and say it, you know. You know, but nowadays there's nothing there. You can say whatever you want to, and you know, and it's up, and it's perfectly all right, you know. Right. But, and nowadays, I, music, it was, you know, it was a uh, before it went on the air, it was scrutinized. You know, everybody would look at it, they'd hear it, they play it, and you know, you just, hey, you know, that's a little bit too suggestive, you know. Right. Today, but today, it's like anything goes, you know. Yeah, it's like there's nothing left. There's nothing left to the imagination. It was right, right. something so special and intimate when you could slow dance with right. a woman, yeah. when you could allow the music to speak mm -hmm. for you. It was such a wonderful, yeah. <laughs> wonderful yeah, feeling. Yeah. Wonderful feeling. What is yeah. it for you to have as far as on the business aspect? You say you're dealing with different promoters and coming up during that era, especially during the chilling circuit when you had a lot of artists that were being ripped off monetarily. Yeah. Right. Right now, what does it feel like to you as far as to have complete creative control over your music and over the direction of your career? It feels, it, it feels real good. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that, you know, it feels real good because you, you, I, it's, it's, I appreciate it more, I think, because I had to go through the early phase, you know, um, someone always dictate to dictate what they wanted. This is what I want you to do. And you, you know, you were, you were at their mercy, so to speak, you know, right. And do, if you didn't do it or if you, uh, had any real complaints about it, you know, that, uh, uh, or started, you know, started, uh, you know, saying things, you know, that they didn't like, you, you were out of there, you know? Yeah. But, uh, but today, you know, uh, you know, it's just, it's just, the, um, I don't know, um, say anything you want to say, do anything you want to do, but, but having control is a, is a good, is a good thing. But then again, you can say that it's, not such a good thing because yeah. it's, you know, it's taken away from, um, uh, just putting everything out of context, so to speak, you know, right. some things are better listened to and, and left to the imagination than having to, you know, uh, Oh, I can say this, you know, and that kind of thing, you know, and, uh, it's just not, it's just not good. You know, it's not a good thing, you know, right. I and, agree. Yeah, I, I agree. I, you know, I love what I do. I love what I do, but it's um, it's taken. Uh, you know, uh, the way that things have changed is taken away from uh, uh, the essence of the of the of the song. You know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, I look back and it's really I find it very uh, interesting where 50s, 60s, 70s, somewhat in the 80s. You could actually have an artist get on stage and actually sing. Right. They could pick up an instrument 
Yes. And now what I'm seeing now, you have artists, and I'm using that word very loosely. Right. You have artists who get on stage, can't hold a note, can't play an instrument, and yeah. they're lip syncing to tracks. And yeah. the audience is buying into it. Right. And it's incredible to me that, and I say, you know what, we can't be this naive or this gullible. Right, exactly. To, to, exactly. <laughs> to fall. Yeah. <laughs> they'll right. fall for yeah. something like this. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You know, um, there's nothing. I mean, it's it's just um, it's just blown out of out of uh, con the context of what it, a content of what it should be. You know, right? Uh, I don't. You know, I don't like. I you know, I'm one. I don't like. Uh, I don't like to bash you know, or anything like that, or say things that, um, that's gonna, you know, cause a commotion, but let's, you know, I, but I want to be truthful. And right. I, hope that, I hope that, uh, uh, what I say, uh, the constructive criticism, uh, is taken, is, um, you know, uh, it, uh, taken to the forefront with, with some of the artists and might want to, you know, and, and maybe want to change, might think about it, give them something to think about. Right. Know? It's just right. not, uh, this is what, this is what you do. Uh, this is what you do for a living. And, and if you have children, would you want your children to be listening to something that, that is, uh, that's not somewhat positive or doesn't leave anything the, the imagination that the, the, you know they can say children feel as though I can say this it was, he said it on the record I can say this you know that you know that's um I don't that's not the way that's not the way it is you know not the it's way not. That, I, that I see it you know let's uh let's you know let's you know let's make the you know do the music and make it make it good music leave, yeah. leave something leave like leave something to to the imagination you know? yeah Quality, quality this, over, right? Quality yeah. over over quantity, right? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, it's amazing to me, and I had this conversation with a good friend of mine. I said, you know what? I said you can have an Anglo-Saxon brother come over from England, mm -hmm. sing an R&B song, yes, yeah. and get national airplay on the top forty radio station. But here yeah. we are. We have some. We have the greatest R&B artists. Yes. That you could ever imagine again from the moments from Ray Goodman and Brown, the persuaders, the shy right. We right. we this is what we are. Yes. And you have artists like yourself that put out great music. Yeah. And can't get the national airplay. No. Which is so I, richly reserved. Something's yeah. wrong. It <laughs> is. Some, some, something's wrong. Something's and wrong. It's um they uh, I don't know how I they kind of uh, look over, over. They they look past us now. Yeah, you know, like they always did. But, uh, but you know, uh, um, the things that. But it. We. we it, it, let me say this. Let me say this. Okay. We. We, it, we as a people, you know, we like that. When I said we were only as good as our, we're only as good as our last record. You know. Right. But we don't. We're not nostalgic at all, so to speak. I mean, we they like they love the groups, they love the songs, but if I go away and don't, if I don't do a, a, a you know a record, if I don't record a record in in um, for five or five or six years, you know, it's like oh oh where he been? He got another you know he got a new song, and if I go out to to do a tour, I can't I really can't do a tour. You know, people are not going to support it. Well, what did they say? What was, what did they? What song did they have? Uh, late, uh, you know, what what did they have a song? You know, and they don't come out. That's the way. Yeah. That's the way we as a people. That's the way we are. But I look. Uh, I look around. And look, Rolling the Rolling Stones. The Rolling Stones have been have been out there for since since what the sixties. Since the almost 60s. four decades. Almost four. <laughs> <laughs> and everywhere they if, when when they say well the rolling stones is going to start oh my goodness that rolling stone man yeah. everybody go out all of everybody go out they go out and buy the 
you know, just get their ticket. I got to get my ticket and blah, blah, blah. But not for, not, we don't do that. We don't do yeah. that. Black people, we don't do that. We don't support. This is ours. And it's in, and uh, um, it's R&B music. There's only a few of us that's left standing right now. And right. Type music that the moments, uh, Reagan and Brown, Delphonics, uh, the, uh, Shy Lights, all of us, uh, uh, you know all these acts they the songs that they that they do there's only a few of us left and when we're gone i i say when we're gone what in the world who's going to take who's who who's going to come up behind us and you know keep the legacy alive there I is don't see it. <laughs> they don't they yeah. don't appreciate this thing i don't they see don't it music i don't see it and it's our music yeah it's our music, and we won't. We don't even support it. We don't, you know. I don't know. It's um, it's it's somewhat heartbreaking, really. It is. It truly is. And and, and the, the ironic thing is, when you go over to places like England, yes, you're treated like royalty. You got you're, that. Tr you're treated like royalty. Yeah. They have the albums because they still have record stores. They know right. all the lyrics. They tr they. My dad used to tell me when I was a kid. He said, "I don't care what you do in life." He said, "Everyone wants to be respected for what right. they do." Absolutely. And the level of res the level of respect and admiration that they have shown on R and B artists, jazz artists outside right. the United States, mm -hmm. it's incredible. But here, yeah, <laughs> no love, no, no love. airplay. Mm -hmm. No, re no respect, and I can't. I can understand thoroughly why so many of our great artists, like yourself, yeah. they don't hesitate to go to Japan or England right. <laughs> and perform. It, it, in saying that, I was just want to say, uh, last weekend, not this past weekend, but weekend before the uh, last, uh, we were Cal out in California. Um, now. There was a. They had uh, quite a few acts on the show. It was about about uh, six acts on the show, and I'm telling you, the the low riders out there, the the Hispanic uh, community, they come. They they love they love the R and B music. Yeah. I asked the young. I asked the young man. He came back. He had no. He looked so young, and he when he when he walked came up to me. He said, "Oh, I, I love you. I love your song. I love the music." <laughs> I said, how do you how do you know my music? He said, uh, "He says um, that's that's all my parents. My playing in the house yeah. since I was a little, a little boy." He says. They, you know, my parents uh, play this way. I said, "What about?" I said, "What about rap?" You know, you know, he said, "Rap." He said, rap. He said, that's not music. You, you, the songs that you sing, that's music. And I'm saying, my goodness. Yeah. You no. Know? And it was, and, and one night we, one, one, the, let's see, that Friday night we had 7,000 people. And the next, and uh, uh, Saturday night we had about at least 12,000 people. Beautiful. That is beautiful. If you saw, and this is the truth. If you saw, and I, 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 all those people, if you, if you saw, two hundred black people in the audience, you saw too many. Yeah, and that's the truth. And you know, you, you, you know, you don't. We don't support. Well, you don't support one another. You know? At all. At all. No. At all. At all. And our, our Latino brothers and sisters, they've always had a love affair. With oh. R and B music, all yeah. I mean, we go all the way back to the fifties. Yeah. They've always had a love affair. They black music, R and B music, soul music has been to them. It's a reverence, right? From them, yeah. from low riding to romance to everything, they have right. always, they've always had the love affair. But somewhere along the way, we as people, mm -hmm. we become so spoiled yeah, and have yeah. such a sense of entitlement. Mm, what do right. you think? Yeah, <laughs> a, sense, a sense of entitlement. And it mm -hmm. blows my mind. I've had this conversation with my son so yeah. many times, and it's disheartening. And I wanted to ask you, mm -hmm. when the record stores, like Tower Records, Sam Goody, The Warehouse, 
when they started closing down, I wanted to ask you, what was the first thought that came across your mind when you seen that happen? When I saw that happen, I said, we, as a matter of fact, we used to talk about that. We said, man, he says, all these, all these, all of the, the conglomerates, you know, they're, they're gone, you know, they're gone. Yeah. What, uh, what does that mean? What's that, what, is, what does that mean for us? You know, uh, we, nobody knows, can go buy a, you know, buy a record anymore, yeah. you know? And uh, we're saying, what, you know, what is the, what is, what, what's the solution? You know, that's what we used to think is, uh, what, what is the solution to this thing? You know, and, uh, you know, your mom and pop stores, you know, they were, you know, they, uh, you know, they, they're going out of business because um, they can't really can't sell it. They can't sell a record. Everything is online. You know, um, I, I know I went to, uh, in Harlem. Um, they, um, Bobby, um, what's his name? Bobby. Uh, oh, I can't think of his last name now. But anyway, he used to well, all the records. He would he had a record shop that sat right on the corner and you would you you'd go there and you could hear he had that music blasting. This is a new song from so and so and so. So you would hear yeah. all the songs. People. People would flock to the store to his uh, little store and and <laughs> record, you know, and everything. Oh man, I'm telling you, you you go there now, and it's you you say, is this the same place? You know, is this the yeah. same place? Like, yeah, you know, no no music, no music out there, and people walking around. Uh, <laughs> I mean, not that not that is that is bad, but. Uh, it was like uh, when you go to Harlem, you know, you see all, you know, you used to go out there, you would see a white person there every now and then, you know, you see them. <laughs> I, walk, I walk down the street, you walk down the street in Harlem right now, and they look at you like, what you doing here? You know, I'm saying, oh, <laughs> oh, man. Hey, yeah. Journification at its finest. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> 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 it, it, it things of things have really really changed you know uh, i don't know if uh kids uh, have they, there's no you know like like no appreciation for for music you know anymore I, well, I, brother, brother brown that's why i'm here to bring substance right, back to I, their way i'm here to bring it back to their ways and for those who are tuning in late, shame on you. But the teddy bear does forgive you. We're being joined by the legendary Mr. Billy Brown, of course, from Ray Goodman and Brown, and I'll call him the lost soul, the legendary, a.k.a. The Moments, new hit single, of course. You're so fine, available as we speak on all digital platforms. And if you're feeling more adventurous, you can always head over to Amazon.com and pick it up, but also get all the latest updates. Be sure you stop by Mr. Brown's official Facebook page. That's at facebook.com forward slash Ray Goodman and Brown, a.k.a. The Moments. Listening to this song, it took me back to a much simpler, soulful time. And right. you just sit there and you just get lost in the lyrics. And I wanted to ask you, what was it like going into the studio to create this wonderful, soulful new single, "You're So Fine." It was, it was like, it was, it was like, it was like heaven. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> uh, I, like I said, I was reunited with um, with my uh, former producer uh, Ronnie Song, and to be with uh, with uh, Bo, uh, Charles, and and Don. Uh, Huggins, I mean, it was like it was like, oh man, this, uh, like I said, <laughs> you know, back where back where you belong and where you had where you had success and you know people that care about the music, you know, right. uh, not just to not just to record and and you know and have it sitting on the shelf and that kind of thing, you know, um, they want to go out, they want to. They want to do some do things positive, you know. Right. And I um, I really, I'm real, I'm so appreciative of of um, of, of all of them, you know. Uh, Ronnie, Ronnie Song, um, 
he's just been he's we we've been friends for oh gosh 15 16 years and we um we we go in the studio and uh we spend time to you know we spend time together you know tweaking this and you know and saying well he think it's you know he's a producer where he wants you he wants to hear what you have to say about it right think, right you know you think we can do this a little like how, what do you feel about how you know how do you feel about this certain you know this doing a line like this or, you know that kind of thing he wants you to be involved in what he's doing you know he's not just someone i need it to do it just like this do it just like this and the man <laughs> and he, i don't see why he don't, i don't see why he don't have an album because the man can the man can sing i mean he's got a he's got a great voice but he wants to be he wants to be uh uh he don't want the limelight i guess you know as far as that's concerned um he's uh just a just a, a real good real good person and a great friend yeah um i know when uh, uh a few years ago when the allen when allen was still alive we used to go we went up to connecticut and we stayed up there for about 2 weeks and just you know being together and writing songs together uh we got a hotel and we all stayed in the ho hotel together and sometimes we'd wake up like uh uh somebody come up with an idea like four or five o'clock in the morning and be knocking on the door listen to this listen to this came up with this line you know and that's how things are created you know good music and being around good friends and just you know just doing things together as a group, you know, uh, that's, um, I think that's become a thing of the past. And when you say the kids, that the guys today, when they go in the studio, I'm, I'm going to put this, I'm going to say this and I'm going to be done. We were in the studio recording. Uh, we have a, we have an album called um, a, Mo a Moment with Friends and where we, we sang songs by, we redid songs by friends of ours in the business okay. and young, some young guys were, um, were there and, uh, we were in the studio, you know, we go in the studio together and we sing together. And, uh, so we told these young boys, they came in, they says, uh, they, they had to do some stuff in there. So I said, y'all going in there in the studio and, um, and, uh, do this. They said, you want all of us to go in there together? So, what do you mean? To, what do you mean going there together? That's what, that's, that's what we do things. We said they said, uh, um, we're not gonna go in. He's not gonna go in and do his part. No, they couldn't sing together. Yeah, no harmonizing. They couldn't harmonize, right? They couldn't harmonize. And I'm saying, what in the world? And we all looked at each other. We were, I mean, dumbfounded. We said, yeah. what in the world? You know, and they and they had to go in there one by one, and do his he do his line, and the, the next guy would go in and do his line. We said, and they saw us going there, and they were standing there. They were um, like amazed that we went in the studio together and could get around the mic and sing and sing harmony. Yeah, hey, I'm saying, what in the world? I'm saying, what in the world is this coming to? You know, yeah. I couldn't. And that I was, couldn't, and that I was commonplace. Not, in the 70s, yeah. where you had groups that would go in the studio together and harmonize from you and right. your group, from the, yeah. from the from the OJs, the yeah. Whispers, the Four Tops, the yeah. Stylistics. I'm naming the cornucopia of groups who can actually get in the studio and harmonize and can right. sing right. and actually in live performances sound better in the right. live performances than the actual song on the album. Right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah, they go out there, man. They got harmonizers on stage with them and all that kind of stuff. I swear, my gosh, you know, that's this. You know, you tell them that's not the way. That's not the way it's done. You know, it's not. Yeah, you know? and they, you know, they look at you. They look when they look at you. They look that they're, they're dumbfounded. You know. So, well, but that's hey, all right. It's okay. We got. Yeah. Like I said, that's why I'm here to make sure everybody gets lost in some blueprint music. And I got to ask, and I know a lot of the loyal, devoted fans, who I like to call family, they want to know, do you have any upcoming 
live performance as far as upcoming tours if they can actually go out and see you perform? Yeah, we are. Um, we're going. I did, well, I I just got back from Chicago. I was out in Chicago. Uh, um, uh, let's see, June, Jul- uh, June twenty seventh. No, no, I'm sorry. June, uh, July, July 27th. Uh, we'll be in Atlantic City at uh, okay. at the um, uh, Gardner's Basin. And then uh, starting in October, that's when everything really starts starts moving. We're doing a, um, well, it's a five-day stint uh, in uh, Newark, New Jersey at the, at the PAC. Uh, and then uh, we're going to uh, uh, Philadelphia, and then from there to Atlantic City again at at um, the um, the Hard Rock Cafe and uh, Hotel. Okay. And I'm going to be well, and then I uh, would then I'm going. We're going overseas. Going to Germany. You know, we're going to Germany, in Germany for a while, and then. Come back here, um, and after that, I really don't know. I know we're doing the Soul Train. We're going to be doing the Soul Train cruise, but that's that's in twenty five. Okay, okay. A lot of things, you know, there's a lot of things that's going on. You know, I, my manager he handles all that, and he'll call me and give you know and give them to you know get to Billy so and so and so and so. You're going here and going there, and uh, you know. I'm I'm just I'm waiting for him. To, as a matter of fact, waiting for him to call me now to let me know what's going on. <laughs> okay. Well, you definitely definitely need to come down to Houston and perform. We have a lot of wonderful venues down here that would yeah. love to see you do your thing, man. And far be it for me to deprive the many people that are watching with some therapeutic music. Here it is, family. The new hit single from the legendary Mister Billy Brown, of course. You're so fine. Lord have mercy here on Night Tracks Radio.
Lord have mercy. You're so fine. Chills up and down my spine. Brother Legendary. <laughs> Brother Legendary, Mr. Billy Brown, of course, a new hit single available as we speak on iTunes, Apple, Spotify, Deezer, Pandora. And if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, family, you can always head over to Amazon.com. My brother, it was an honor to have you on the show. And I have a request. I have to have an autographed CD from you, man. I have all of the moments albums on wax. I have to. Okay. <laughs> you got my number. Just, you know, just tell just send me a text me and let me know where to send it to. I appreciate it, man. Much continued success and whatever you need. Don't hesitate yeah. to let the teddy bear know we got you. We love you. More importantly, we respect right. you. Okay. Right. So much and can i say this uh before we there i want to thank each and every one of uh my well i they say fans but i want to say friends yes supported uh ray goodman and brown the moments and billy brown uh down for all these years i've been doing this now uh i've been doing that been in this business for 55 years and i just want to thank each and every one of you for uh, allowing us to come into your life and into your uh, your well your domain and and um, and uh, we bring you the music that you all enjoy and love. I hope you know, and I thank you so very much. And I want to say God bless each and every one of you. And you know, let's do it again. Absolutely. Guys, <laughs> yeah. In the words of those, in the words of those great American poets, they once said. You got to be a special lady. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> God bless you, Brother Brown. Thank you so much, my man. <laughs> Don't forget, send me the, send me, you know, send me that. I will, uh, I will definitely do that. Definitely do that. I will, that's a promise. All right. All right. Thanks. So. <laughs> All right. The legendary. Mr. Yeah. Billy Brown here, of course, on Night Tracks Radio Family. Again, be sure to get the new hit single, You Are So Fine. And to catch up and support and get all the latest updates, make sure you stop by and support Billy Brown's, of course, his official Facebook page is at facebook.com forward slash Ray Goodman and Brown, a.k.a. The Moments. And also, again, the new hit single is available on all digital platforms. And for those who missed the interview, no need to be here. The teddy bear has you covered. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's at Night Tracks with two axes. That's at Night Tracks Radio Music on YouTube. So subscribe so you can see the interview in its entirety. And for those who want to get caught up and hear the teddy bear's velvet voice, Lord and mercy, we're streaming on iHeartRadio. Spotify, Deezer, Amazon, you name it, we are there. That's at Night Tracks, again, with two X's. That's at Night Tracks Radio. And also be sure to follow us on TikTok, same handle as well as Instagram. And for the artists formerly known as Twitter, we're also on Twitter too. But no need to fear, the teddy bear has you covered. Mr. Rated Extraordinaire. We'll be back on the air tomorrow, 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time as we welcome the captivating and super talented Tanya Nolan will be joining us as we have the pleasure of debuting her new single slash video, Like Water. Lord have mercy. And for those who tuned in, I want to thank you very much. Without you, there's no teddy bear. There's no Mr. Rated Extraordinaire. I want to thank you. I want everyone to have a fantabulous evening. Can't wait to see you and bless us and bless you tomorrow evening with some more therapeutic music. And as in always, keep it soulful here on Night Tracks Radio. God.